Hi guys, so nice of you to visit me again today. If you are new here, my name is Margaret. I am from the Netherlands. I'm doing the 100 day project. And today is day 96. A couple more days to go, guys. I have a prototype on my desk. So let me tell you what this project is all about. It looks like a postcard from both sides, but it has a paperclip on it. It is sort of a hidden paperclip, altered paperclip project. You can clip it on a page in your journal, like so. But what if you want to journal on it? You can, because it is in fact a hidden journaling card. Ta-da! <laughs> so cute, right? Yeah, I thought so as well. So I want to make a couple of those with you today. Let's get going. Here's what I want to use today. I want to use some postcards. These are actually printed. I found these images on probably Pinterest or something like this. These are look very Victorian. I love them. These are, I believe, from the Graphics Fairy. They look like sort of Victorian postcards. And then these are some real postcards. Sorry for glare. Uh, these are vintage. They're from 1979. So you can use all sorts of postcards or other images that you like. I want it to look like a postcard. Then I want some index cards. If you don't have index cards, just have some cardstock that you can write on. Some blank cardstock or some lined paper. But it needs to be sort of sturdy. If it's just copy paper, it will not work. So some cardstock. Paper clips, of course. I want to use some glue, probably some scissors. Uh, for the cutting of the, um, the cards, I like to use a cutting, some sort of a cutting device like, like this jumper or like just a cutting mat or anything you have that is handy. Now for some things, no, there's a couple more things that we really need. We need some washi tape and some uh, double-sided tape to attach the paper clips, yeah? Optional, I want to use a quarter rounder because I want to round the corners. Uh, I'm going to ink. I'm going to ink it rather dark. I'm using walnut stain. You don't have to do this. And I'm going to probably decorate it with some bits and bobs, also known as labels. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's get started. Some of the cards are, are um, this is called landscape. Yeah. Horizontal. And some are vertical portrait. I believe so. I don't know. I don't know the exact terminology, but some of are, are horizontal and some are vertical. Yes. Um, this card goes onto a right-handed page. Yeah, right page. But what if you want to have it on the other side? Well, we're going to make this one on the other side, but then we have to attach the paper clip over here, of course. Yeah. And then the other ones we just need to attach on top don't think attaching it to the bottom will work let's first do um this one the vertical one yeah we need to make sure that the images are the exact same size i've already cut them to size it doesn't really matter how tall they are or how big they are but they need to fit on your page so take that in, into consideration i have cut mine i believe exactly to size but that is what I thought about this one. And then I glued them together and there were some uh, pieces sticking out. That's okay. We can either ink them or just cut them to size later on. That's okay. Alrighty then. Um, for this one, it, I, have to, I have to think about it because my idea would be, you know, cut it over here and then have the card here. But... I think it's better to cut it at the bottom. So have this piece at the bottom. Because we want the taller bit to have the paper clip. Yeah? So also very important. Be sure that both of your images are the right side up. Like so. Really put them uh, together, flush together. That is very important. And I am just going to cut a piece off at the bottom, like, you know, an inch or maybe a little over an inch. Be sure that your papers are the exact same size now. If not, you will have trouble later. 
good. It looks like we ruined it, but it's okay. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Alrighty then. I am going to round the corners first. I just think that works better. Do not round these corners on the bottom. Nope. That's why I'm rounding them first. Not to be mistaken. Also, again, only round the corners on the bottom, so not on this piece. Seven, right? Yes, we used seven millimeters. This is the bottom. Good. Now, if you want to, you ink them. I'm just going to ink one. I'm just going to ink the one that we are going to attach the paper clip to. Now, you have to make a decision. Will this be the front where you don't see the paper clip? Or will this be the front where you don't see the paper clip? Yeah? So, choose a front. I'm choosing this to be a front. So, I'm removing these pieces. And this is the back. And the paper clip will show here. So, that is why... I'm inking this in advance. I want it to be nice and grungy because you know, I sometimes just love nice and grungy. Now, another decision you have to make. <laughs> um, you can see the line here. It is visible. That is, uh, and again, is what's what's with you and visible? Visible. Visible. <laughs> um, so I inked it. If you want it to be sort of more hidden, don't ink this part. I just like it to be sort of visible. <laughs> oh, uh, some words are even hard in Dutch for me to say, uh, let alone in English, which is not my native language. All right, inked all around it. Now I want paper clips. For paper clips, you could have a big one, a smaller one. Uh, not a really small, small one. I'm just, you know, no, using a medium one. How big is this? It's like um, a little more over an inch, I guess. Or, you know, yeah, about an inch, about an inch. Now, there are rules for having the taller bit on the inside or the smaller bit on the inside. I don't know these rules. So, I'm just going to put it like so, the smaller bit on the inside. I cannot figure out why you would have a taller bit and a smaller bit. It works exactly the same, in my opinion. I could be wrong, wrong. What I'm going to do, because um, I have found out if they are not really flush together, when we glue it down, you will see a bit of the inside peeking through. And I find inking this in advance, just in case, you might see a little bit works better than inking it while they are glued down. So that's the only reason why I'm inking it. There you go. I'm going to get some uh, double-sided tape. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so here's my tape. Um, it is extremely sticky. Uh, that is a good thing. And it's also extremely smelly. So that is why I had to get it all the way over there at the other end of my craft room because I cannot stand this smell. It is, however, so sticky. It works so well. So that is the only good thing about this. Um, other than that, the backing of this one does not want to come off easily. I'm using a pin. This could take a while. And sometimes I just do it in, like in one go. But most of the times takes me a while. No. There, I'm getting better at this. Or the tape is just getting easier. Could also be that thing. Uh, now this is very sticky. So do not put uh, paper on top of it. Because then the paper is stuck. So I'm using a washi tape. Just get some washi tape that you don't, that you hardly ever use. Or don't use anymore. I don't like this one anymore. I'm like, I'm over this one. This was a cheap one from Action, I believe, in a set. It had some nice things in the set, but no, the gilded thing, no, just didn't work for me. So it is on there now. It's on there. And when it's on there, it is really on there. <laughs> Good. Now 
I already inked all the other pieces, guys. So no more inking. I want to attach this piece over here. Very simple. I am just going to put glue. Tiny strip of glue. As close as possible to the itch. To the itch. To the to the itch. Yes. To the edge. <laughs> Are you itchy? Use our glitter glue. Put it as close as possible to the itch. I'm sorry. I'm just cracking myself up. Oh, oh, there you go. I am gluing it as close to the edge as possible. Why? Because I want the pocket to be as big as possible. If you glue it more to the, to the center, your pocket will be smaller. There you go. Oh, I hope you guys have a sort of sense of humor. Otherwise, you will not enjoy my channel, I guess. And there you go. But I think I think you guys did. Okay, very carefully lining them up as close. This is art glitter glue, so there's a little wiggle room, but like for a second or two. Ooh, that looks almost sort of perfect. Yeah. Yes. Well, that looks better than the prototype that I made. Just a tiny bit, a tiny bit over here, but that's okay. I'm just going to ink it. Yes. Looks better already. This is the top part, part. Now let's do the bottom part. Now we need to take out our index card. Um, it might be that your index card is too big or too tall. So we are going to sort of measure it by putting it in. I'm putting it in. Like so. See until how far it will go. Well, this is a rather big card. So it will go pretty far. Pretty far. I'm not going, going to put it all the way to the edge. I'm just going to leave a little bit room over here. So do not put it flush against. Because otherwise it will be very hard to close. So I'm leaving it like so. So now when I glue this part on. Well, let's glue this part on. <laughs> there you go. Let's flip it around. Yeah. Um. So we have to glue it. All this. Uh, um, this whole piece. Onto this piece. I am go going to glue it a little bit farther even. Doesn't really matter. But to have it in the middle. That is very important. Yeah? Okay. I'm going to put glue on my index card. What I forgot to do, you see. Oh no, this is, this is upside down. It's not... Um, horizontal is vertical so it doesn't uh, really matter where the red line is I just want the red line to be on top all the time okay so I'm gluing it in the middle and then almost all the way to the top that's where we sort of measured it I didn't need to cut this card um, to size so that is a very nice thing also, not inking this. I don't want to ink it. I just want it to be like a real card. Is it on there? Yeah. Before I glue the other part on, I am going to quickly check again. Just in case. See? Yeah. It closes up. Good. Now we have to glue the other part on. Gluing it on the piece of card underneath and on the index card as well. Hopefully the bottom piece will fit just as nicely as the top one did. Let's just see. It looks good over here. Does it look good over here? I believe it's the same corner that is causing a little bit of trouble. But not a lot. No, it's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. There you go. Let's try that one again. Okay, here we go. 
who I want around these corners. Why? Um, it protects the, the, the edges of the index cards when you put it in and back and in and out and in. <laughs> Otherwise, these, these will curl. And also, it looks way nicer. There you go. This should fit. It fits perfectly. How nice is this? Let's get to the page to check it out. Let's say this is your page and then you clip it on uh, like so. Already looks like fantastic. And then you take this out and you can journal on it. Simple, but genius. <laughs> yeah. Do we want to have some decoration, decoration on here? I don't know. Let's just have a quick look. I put it back together. I think I have a perfect spot here for a label. Let's do something botanical. And the colors really work. So yes, yes to this. A little bit of inking, not a lot. And there you go. Doesn't really need decorating. It's just in case you'd like to have some decoration on here. Looks so nice. It really looks nice. And then on this one, I have these blue sort of labels. And I think that also looks very nice. So There you go. Ta-da! You could do some decorating on the card. I'm not going to do that. So I think uh, you need to put some secrets on here or something. <laughs> Just some secrets. Great! I think we have time for another one. I think so. Let's do these. Um, if, if you can remember, we had this one to go on a, a right pocket. So I want this to go on a left pocket. So the paper clip needs to be here. I want this to be on the front. Yeah? Okay, so we need to flip this around. Yes, it's going to be like this. Hopefully these are the same size. Again, I'm using this device. You can use another device that cuts for you. We're doing it the right way? Yeah, <laughs> I'm just checking, just checking. I don't think these are really, really... The, the, exact size but that's okay and we can do some trimming afterwards they go like an inch or something yep again rounding the corners only the top bits and here only the bottom bits This is the bottom. Oh, I'm gonna cut through the number. Oh, the number is still on. Yay, the number is still on. Happy about that. <laughs> and then these bits, yeah. There we go. Paper clip is going to this part. Yeah. Just gonna ink one, guys. Just one. Just quickly where the paper clip will be. Do we have another paper clip? Of course you do. Of course you do. So putting the paper clip on this time, the smaller parts on the outside and the bigger parts on the inside. Let's see if the world will explode. <laughs> probably won't, probably won't. Okay. Uh, I am quickly going to get my very smelly tape. I'm back with the tape and I inked in the meantime. There you go. This tape is not wide enough for this paper clip, so I'm going to sort of diagonally put it on. Oh, that'll work. I'm certain it will. Okie dokie. Let's see if we can get some of the backing off. That'll be nice. 
Yes. I'm thinking, was it just me all this time that I couldn't get it off? Or was the first part of the tape like really, really dysfunctional? <laughs> it didn't function. So for the washi tape, and there we go. Be sure it's on everywhere. Okie dokie, quick project, right? Yes, <clears throat> you could mass make these. Yeah, if you wanted to. Gluing. Okie dokie. All around. I'm already thinking about some uh, sort of variations on this sort of project, like putting pockets on or having some something flip out, you know. <laughs> I like to have pockets on everything and have things flip. There you go. Well, this is going to be a little bit difficult. Is it? Is it really? Yeah, over here. I'm missing a piece over here, just a tiny bit. Well, if you're careful enough, it worked, it worked, it worked. Be sure that it's really stuck where the paper clip is. Okay, well, that was quick. Well, it's sticking out a little bit. Once I press it near the paper clip, it just, you know, scooching a little bit over here. But not a lot, just, you know, enough to have some ink on here. Okay, now for the index cards, let's see if this size will work with this index card. Open up, please. There you go. Well, the width is okay. We don't have to do anything about this. And do not put it all the way to the end. Yeah, still works. Works the same. Because probably... Oh yeah, I put it on the same setting. Didn't I? No, it's a little bit smaller than the other one was. But it works just the same. Okie dokie. Um, this is the front. I want the index card when I pull it out to have the red line on top. So I need to glue this bit over here. Yeah? Okay. So turning around like so. Perfect. Oops. I'm just a little bit of a sort of a perfectionist in that. I just want, I just want things the way I want them. Okay, be sure it is in the middle and then also almost all the way to the top. There you go, before we glue the other piece on, let's quickly check again. Yes, that works just fine. Okay. Now for this one. Let's see how these line up. Well, I think it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Let's have them measure again before we um, round the corners on the index card. Yes, that works nicely. Small corners, so I'm going to do that. Four millimeters. Yes, some decorating. I think this like flap over here already looks amazing. I'm not going to put 
a label on there, but I thought this was a nice uh, space to put a label on something bluish like the color of the sleeve and the pretty stamp that I believe I have this stamp somewhere that could be fun right to have another one of these stamps on here why would you want to the same stamps on there I, I don't know I don't know but mm, could be nice there you go one label here says stuff i do not know i cannot read this i cannot then on the other side i was thinking to have a label going this way yeah oh why not i love these images from the graphics fairy i have a, a bunch of them i really like them there you go so let's uh, sort of get a page oh this is not the vertical one this horizontal one there you go put it on a page like so and then you take out your journaling card yay i know you get the principle by now but i really really want to make <laughs> one more with these beautiful vintage cards so I am going to quickly, you know, go through every every step. Um, this is going to be a vertical one again, so we need to take stuff off the bottom. Very important, Margaret. So do not hurry too much and make stupid mistakes. See, I believe this card is a little bit. Let's just quickly cut this down to the exact size. I don't know if you can see it. But there's a tiny strip of the white peeking through. And instead of having to ink a lot, I am going to take my craft knife. Still need to replace my blade. I guess yeah and this is of course a postcard so this is much heavier uh, material also on the bottom also on the bottom there you go This is uh, supposed to be straight now. Hopefully it is. Top part, bottom part, taking a piece of the bottom. Yes. I want this to be the front one. I like this one better. Taking off sword of an inch. Okie dokie, I'm around the corners, I'm rounding them with 10. One. Or 10 is like, I don't know what you want, but I don't want 10. It is rather heavy paper. So that's maybe why my corner rounder doesn't want to work with us. I had a tip from a subscriber that says, uh, flip it around, turn it around, and you can see what you do. And actually, that really works. <laughs> it says, happy birthday. Or, congratulations on your birthday. So these are uh, vintage birthday cards. Not going to ink them. I'm not gonna ink them no i want to have a little bit of a bigger uh, paper clip because this paper is very heavy there we go 
So now I'm going to get more of my lovely tape. I took out two pieces because this is a bigger paper clip. So on one over here. Please stay, paper clip, thank you. And one over here. But why did you not get the tape over here? Uh, I have a pegboard on the other side of the room, on the wall. And there's uh, some sort of a rod on there where all my big tapes are on. And it takes me a long time to get that rod off the pegboard. So that is why I'm just moving back and forwards. And it's like one step. It's just one step. I need my pin again. Just to take these off. Also, I flipped it around and I noticed this is not straight at all. Um, I don't think that will be a hinder, um, especially because we did not ink it, so you will not see the sort of wonky line in it. But it's not straight. See, it's like, I don't know what my paper cut it, but it didn't like me today. It did not like me. First, honey, first do the tape, the washi tape on it. Using two pieces. I have a lot of these sort of kitschy <laughs> birthday cards with the flowers on them. I personally, personally really like them because sometimes ugly is pretty. <laughs> and these are ugly. Yes, I would not be really happy if somebody sent me those birthday cards. Like, okay, well, I, I see you love me very much. Uh, but they were like the thing back then. And I do believe uh, the lady they were sent to was sort of an elderly lady. Uh, how do I know that? I do not know the lady personally, but I picked up a very large um, vintage postcard collection all from the same person all from the same person like for years and years and um, it was like 1200 cards I am I am not joking guys it was almost like 1200 cards it was a lot and there were a lot from very very early on. So that is how I know in 1979 the lady was already sort of elderly because I have postcards from the early 50s or maybe late 40s, maybe even before that time. There you go. That's how I know. She did live a couple years uh, after that because I also have some cards from the early 80s. Well, this surely will fit. Yes, because I believe this is a little bit wonky. I am going to just put glue on here. And then glue it in such a way. Maybe that wasn't the smartest thing to do. No, that wasn't the smartest thing to do. But now I know these lines match up. And I just need that on one side. I don't need that on both sides. Because I want to line these lines up together. Yeah. Yeah, so that was a big score at the thrift shop. And um, there was a big, big, big box with all these cards. And uh, I didn't know the price of the cards. And uh, there were a lot. And I was going through them. And I was like, you know, I maybe I want all of them. So I was thinking maybe I should ask a lady that works there. Can I maybe buy all of them? So I asked her and she said, well, I need to ask the manager. And he's walking just, uh, you know, over there. So I looked up to the manager. 
with my prettiest smile and, tell, and told them, Hello, Mr. Manager. Uh, what if I want to take the whole box with the cards? And he was not really annoyed, but he was like, do you want all the cards? He was sort of confused why I would want all of them. And then he uh, told me a price. I'm not going to tell you the price. And I was like, no, sir. No, dear sir. That is not enough. That is definitely not enough. So I paid him double. And he was like, nobody ever did that in my shop. No, I know. But I want to pay what it's worth. And not, um, I, I like a good deal course I like a good deal but I also do not want to have a bad feeling about it later well it is a little bit wonky but if you just wiggle it around yeah it will work it does look like a complete card see oh, sorry for the glare you don't even know that there's like a secret uh, journaling spot in here. So yeah, love it. Let's look at the end result. Here they are. This was my prototype. I really like my po prototype. Normally I'm like, here's a prototype. <laughs> but I really like this one. So I'm definitely going to use it. See, very cute, very pretty. I did not decorate it. It doesn't need any decorating. Maybe a little number. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe. See? And it has the journal card in it. Then we made the one that was vertically. I really love this one. Look at the image. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Yeah. Yes. See? With the card. Um, you could also make these without a paper clip, of course. If you just want to have like sort of a faux postcard with a journaling card inside, like this. Yeah, I just wanted to do with something with paper clips. Then we made this with, are these called lilacs? I do believe so. I love them, yeah. With the card and then Wildflowers of America. The Botanical Fine Art Weekly. Yeah, lovely. And then the real postcard. That doesn't even look, I'm sorry for this glare. Doesn't even look like we did anything to it. Unless we do this. See? Yeah. Well, that's another lovely way to use up my postcards. Guys, I hope you liked the video. I loved it. Um, well, you know, I love it every day. Only a couple more days to go. Again, day 100 will not be um, a crafting day. It will be like a show and tell. And I have a big, big box. Uh, so it's going to be a long video. I have 100 projects. Well, I have 99 projects to show you. Okay, guys. Have a nice day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.